Last time on The Ties That Bind, after battling the bleeding god's gooey emissary with wits and blood, Wolfgang, Denier, Asmo, and Tiwig, along with their companions Giblink, Ramses, and the still unconscious William Minor, escape the mines at long last and just in time to warn of the danger facing the ceremony. Wasting little time, our heroes and Ramses split off from Giblink to warn Horatio of the looming threat. With little knowledge of where and when the Jester might appear, Denier, Asmo, and Tiwig place themselves among the gathering crowd, awaiting the ceremony, while Wolfgang and Horatio manned the bridge that led to the site. As King Bahum and Archmage Jimothy Blackwart took stage and delivered their delivered their speech, our heroes remained vigilant, not realizing the threat might come from within. As an otherworldly force took control of Denier's hands, he placed his fragment of the Bleeding God's gem atop his staff, and before he could realize what he was doing, he fired a massive blast at the Golden King. A pillar of red energy stretches into the sky, as the battle cries of bugbears can be heard charging in from the distance. Denier. Yes. You feel alone in your head once more as the world seems to move around you in slow motion. All you hear are the muted sounds of screams being far overshadowed by the ringing in your ears left behind by the massive explosion. Your mind still playing catch up as people begin to scramble away from you in fear. Make a wisdom save. Okie doke. That is an 11. You can see Asmo as he's like trying to look at you to yell at you. Asmo, T-Wig, Wolfgang, you hear the charging sounds of the, like, the feet of bugbears as they charge the field. In which direction? Uh, they're coming from the east. You can see them wandering in. Looks like they've broken in from, uh, looks like they're busting out of holes from underground and starting to charge. And as Monty, they do but... so, I want each of you to roll me some initiative. Oh, jeez. Oh, as you're still collecting your thoughts, I need you to roll initiative with disadvantage. Okie doke. 19. Oh! 19! Oh. 19. <laughs> 21. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> what just uh, happened? Uh, oh, Asmo, Asmo, Asmo has the highest dexterity, followed by me, followed by Monty. Yeah. It's somehow Denier. All right, hold on. Let me write down our turn order here. That's this wild. Oh, no, we blew all our good rolls. Here, has no. Those are some damn good rolls, though. Hold on. I need yeah, to, yeah. I, I had some of these guys pre rolled, but one of them I forgot to. No, well. And before he gets a natural 20. Nope. Okay, the bugbears begin to charge the field. Denier, you manage to shake your head and snap out of it as Asmo points them out to you. You see them coming. You realize now you have no time to process these events. As you look from the stage where two guards are running, uh, the uh, field of magic falls, and you see a bloodied Bahum kneeling, his face just cracked and bleeding red. He looks utterly betrayed and on the verge of unconsciousness. Meanwhile, Jimothy Blackwart standing next to him, uh, his entire right half seems to have been stripped of flesh oh. by the massive blast. Mm. Shit. Oh, but they're both still alive? They seem that way as two guards approach Bahum, kneel down, and begin to take him away. Or begin to try to, like, oh, rise him off the stage. I'm in yep, the middle Horace of jumps into action as he gets massive and jumps in the way of some of these bugbears as they come charging in. A couple of the guards are left flat-footed while some of them are being flanked entirely. With that, Denier. It is your turn as you have snapped awake. All right, so the generalized area, 
Are we in a field or is there any kind oh, of anything blocking off the uh, exit routes or anything? You're on what seems to be kind of a small island. Off to the side, there is, uh, the way the bugbears are coming from looks like kind of open field that leads mm -hmm. off to the side of town. And behind you, on the western side, the river kind of crooks around and flows back into that lake you see up top. Okay. Meanwhile, across the bridge is the town itself. You do hear panic screams coming from that side as well, but it seems there's a more imminent threat rushing to attack these onlookers. All right, then Denier's going to make a 30-foot move backwards, and he's going to fire a firebolt at the first bugbear that he sees. Uh, which uh, one? Straight up. The one at the... Let me see if I can ping it. The one that is directly in front of me. Okay. That guy. The yeah, one closest guy. to the stage. Yeah, these guys are all charging in. Look at, like, they, they're all, their eyes are all glowing red the same way you remember. Mm-hmm. Oh. 22 to hit. That'll hit. All right. 18 damage. You blast this guy square in the face as what appears to be a good chunk of his, like, the right side of his skull liquefies. Uh, as Motiwig, you can smell the burning hair. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, if that is your move, Asmo, it is now your turn. This guy yeah, does not look good. in good shape. Asmo's gonna, as for my second, as my bonus action, I'm basically gonna pull out his last potion and drink it real quick. Hey. Oh, boy. And that, right. is, and that is, what is that again from the top of my head here? Uh, it's just a regular uh, 2D4 healing potion. 2d4 plus 2 is a healing potion. 2d4 plus 2. Thank you very much. And five. Oh, my God. It's five. Than nothing. Is it, though? <laughs> Maybe it's not better than an action, but. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Asma's going to move forward. And uh, just the one that was just blasted away with the fire. Asma runs right at him and just whips out. Old Faithful. He whips out Frostbite. All right. And so utters the words. He utters the words, Ikonok. And then punches him right in the damn head. 21. Uh, you used your action to drink your potion. Oh, I thought that was a bonus action, because I have two attacks? No, uh, bonus. You, you, have, you have to make the attack action to get the attacks. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Bonus action is, is in Unexpectables. I'm sorry. Damn it! I, I'm yeah. sorry. No, I'm, that I'm, is my fault for assuming one way or the it's, other. It's so. okay. Don't worry about it. But, so yeah. Asma's just gonna look uh, really as, as you walk up to him, him, I will say you do unsheath your weapon and like get your Wolverine ice claws down at your side and bear them at him. All right. As uh, his remaining eye tries to focus on you. Okay. Wolfgang, it is your turn. Uh, it looks like Horatio off to your side is engaged with three bugbears that are trying to climb on him as he's flailing about. I'm 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 just gonna shout. Is the king alive? Ah! <laughs> You hear back from Rish. I don't fucking know, but you've got a lot of explaining to do. Let's get out of this first. I hear that. All right, sword. I'm going to need you to cooperate. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking do this. Let's cut him. Hmm. I'm technically not flanking if I'm here, right? Uh, you're also not touching him if you're there. But I'm five feet away from him. Well, if you're within five feet, yes. Touch him. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do? Uh, oh God, Vengeance isn't going to let me use Requiem. Yeah, vengeance uh, is a bit. Yeah, vengeance is a petty bitch. Well, he still lets me fire spells out of it, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that for the time being. All right. I'm going to uh, run backwards thirty feet. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to pull out both requiem and. Uh, the Sword of Vengeance, and I'm going to fire uh, two Eldritch Blasts at the one to the uh, 
to the bottom of Horatio. All right. That's going to be 16 to hit. That'll hit. All right, that's four force damage. All right. He takes, a, as you blast him, uh, a good hefty punch of energy seems to smack him right beneath the ribs. All right, and one more. 14? 14 is just going to miss. Ah. Well, it's more than just miss, but uh, you do seem to get an impact, but it seems to graze off of his fur. You leave him with kind of like a hairless patch on his back, like he just got waxed. Seems to glance off the flesh a bit. You waxed him. T-Wig, you're up, unless you have a bonus action you wish to use. I do have a bonus action. I'm going to uh, bonus action. Huh? He, was, he was talking yeah, to me. The answer, oh, sorry. The, the answer is no. <laughs> okay. T-Wig, you're up. I have a bonus action. I'm in a bonus action healing word, the king. I'm just going to do double finger crossbows at him. I'm going to cast healing word at level one. Heal him four. He seems, uh, to, uh, by doing that, he seems to be able to kind of get up more with the uh, guard's assistance. At first, they were trying to, like, lift him as if he was dead weight, and now he's kind of helping with that. He definitely looks in a bad way. You should go! It is bad! And I will turn back to the bugbears. Uh, God, I, I am really out of shit. Um, I am going to room... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull out that dynamite. All right. I'm going to try Ooh. and find the hardest, co like, the hottest conduit in my body, and I want to light the, the wick. What would be a good check for that? I'm going to give you a. Give me an arcana. Uh, actually, investigation. Okay. Ten. Oh, come on. Mm. You're searching for parts of your body that are overheating, but you're not intimately familiar. You're not really intimately familiar with your own body enough to figure that out yet, unfortunately. Okay. As a. Uh... Asmo has a fire knife and yeah. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna s I can't cast two spells on a turn even if one's a bonus action, correct? Uh if one's a bonus action and one's an action, I'll allow it. Okay, I, did, did, I, I'm not familiar enough with the rules to argue that. Would um doing that investigation check would that count as an action, would you say? I'm gonna say that was kind of a Mm. You know what? I, th I think I, I think I would, unfortunately, just okay. because you're trying that's, to use an item. That's why I checked. I want to be fair. Um, all right, then I am going to. Oh, fuck! I can't front line. Um, oh, this is bad, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna slide up next to Asmo and just like hold out the dynamite and just give him a look, and that will end my turn. <laughs> All right. Hmm? These fools would try to intimidate me. You begin to feel this surge of energy around you as the archmage from the stage begins to chant. His eyes begin to glow. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, no. That's gonna suck. Oh well. Oh no. Uh, oh, <laughs> the sky no. begins to grow dark. Uh oh. As uh, the atmosphere begins to kind of shake. I'm gonna need to roll a couple of things here real quick. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Okay. If he's right. casting what I think he's casting, right. he better right. not be. Big well, boom death. This man just got half the flesh roasted off of his body. He's not too in, he's not too excited about that. Okay. Uh, you begin to notice shadows appear on the ground, getting larger and larger. They seem to. Uh, be growing at a rapid rate as some of the bugbears, or as some of the guards begin to look up. 
Oh, shit! And several meteors crash into the earth. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... Get down! Let me see here. As he has just burned his most powerful spell. You know what? I'm just going to do this for fun. I will roll this on the table because it would take far too long for me to calculate this. Uh, da, 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 da. 20 D6. Roll. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Okay, so. It's half on save, but. but you see rocks begin to crash and destroy, turning these creatures into pulp as the people behind you begin to scream and, like, attempt to run for their lives. This guy failed. Guards, bugbears alike, they are all getting slaughtered by these rocks. Jesus. This guy survived. This guy did not. This guy did not. Okay. Uh, so a hail of stones came from the sky. Uh, I will say for the matter though, this guy is definitely unconscious. As pretty much the entire Eastern flank is pummeled with rocks from the Archmage. Even Horatia is kind of taken aback by this. Oh, fuck. All right. I would love to, as a, like, as a, as a, as a bit, just slowly put the dynamite away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guards begin to escort the king out. Say they get about this far. All right. Bugbear time as they're attempting to thrash at Raish. Miss. 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 All right, they suck. And these two, seeing what just went on behind them, start trying to uh, charge around to make their way toward the crowd. Crowd begins scattering and fleeing, clamor like now with uh, even more aplomb than before. Now that the rocks just came, the rocks of death came raining out of the sky. And guards turn. These guys are going to try to basically go back and help escort these people. And it cut off these bugbears. And now it's Horatia's turn. Oh boy. And the other one. All right. A massive stream of fire emanates from within Horatia's chest and burns the two bugbears standing in front of him alive. Jesus. As he turns to the remaining one. All right. Ramses. Seeing two bugbears coming in. He's kind of out of a lot of his good spells, but not all of them. <laughs> see here. Just want to make sure that he did not burn this spell. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just imagining Goblin Slayer just with the phrase "heavy breathing" below his face, looking at this scene. <sighs> All right, he points his finger out towards uh, one of the bugbears, and they have to make a dexterity save and natural one. Okay. So a <laughs> bolt of lightning emanates from Ramsey's finger. Ow. And does. That's enough. This thing gets fried. Uh, from across the river, you can hear uh, 
clattering of steel. Sounds like some bugbears are getting at it over there as well. And we are back up to Denier. All right. Denier's going to move up. Denier's going to going to say uh, out loud as a free action. Guard your minds. The jester's using his mind control. And he's going to fire a magic missile at pretty much the only goblin that he can see right now. The remaining bugbear. Yeah, the remaining bugbear in front of uh, in front of Ramses. Yeah, the one that isn't pulped or fried. Correct. All right. All right. So I'm going to cast magic missile at first level because that's the only spells I have left. All right, these balls of energy Nine. fly forth from you, Denier. As they smack him about the face, the jaw, and the gut. He loses a couple of steps as he's kind of like running forward. But he shakes it off and continues to try to pursue. Wolfgang. Or, I'm sorry, uh, da -da -da, Asmo. All right, Asmo's just going to take initiative. Let me just see if I got range on this. I should have checked that one. Oh, yeah, he does. Asmo... Ducks under, uh, <laughs> T-Wig's outstretched arm slowly pulling back into the coat with the dynamite. Slides under and runs right up in front of the bugbear. All right. And just goes for a slash. 18. That'll hit. Nine piercing, six cold. That's 15 damage. All right. Uh, you can see that he's barely on his last legs here as his eyes look to you glowing pink. <laughs> He bears his fangs. Oh. Asmo looks at those pink eyes and grabs fire at 27. That'll and hit. stabs him with eight fire damage right in the face. All right, you stab him right between the eyes. And they begin to stop glowing as he slumps to the ground. You pull out the blade. And that'll be the end of my turn. All right, now Wolfgang. All right, seeing as how pure carnage just happened, Yep. Uh, his, his original plan has been uh, thoroughly rendered unnecessary. So he's just going to charge back in, uh, going to flank this gob this bugbear, and he's going to try to strike with the sort of vengeance. Oh yeah, let's fucking do it. Yas Queen Slay. Nineteen. That hits. You stick him right. You stick him with the pointy end right in the squishy bit. Boom. <clears throat> yeah. Roll your damage. Doing that. Eight piercing. Eight piercing. This is the guy that you also hit with your... Eldritch Blast, yes. Yeah. Okay. He looks like he's still standing, but he's got a... Uh... You're basically shoving your sword in through his kidney and out through the other side. Hmm. What else can I do? Not a lot of anything, I don't think. Uh... Yeah, I think um, I think I'm just going to uh, call it there. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shout to the cards, get these people out of here. Yeah, they are working on that. T wig. Oh, uh, okay. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Everyone's kind of dead, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what happens when you're on the field with some of the most powerful people you've ever met. <laughs> okay. Beings, I guess, is the proper word. Um, I'm going to turn to Asmo and go, I'm going to check on the king, okay? Asmo just kind of gives a thumbs up, I'm... squaring off, waiting for anything else to rise up. I'm going to cast Longstrider on myself. Ooh. All right. So I can move an additional 10 feet. So now my movement is 40 feet, and I'm going to move a dash action 80 feet to join up with the king. As you do so, uh, the guard, like one of the guards immediately pulls out a spear. Hello, my name is Tuwig. I don't have time for that right now. Does he need medical attention? We're getting him there. That will end you can my turn. see uh, as you get to the king, you notice that uh, he's kind of dazing in and out of consciousness here. His armor that was all nice and polished seems incredibly tarnished and shipped and hacked. You can see his body 
look kind of scarred and frail as if as if something got taken from him. It looks like a bunch of his flesh was ripped away. Can I make an arcana check? Yes. Okay. Uh, character sheet, why? Please, come on. Nine. Nine. You've never seen any type of magic that could, like, I mean, obviously you know magic has a lot of capabilities, but you've never seen a spell that can do what just happened to him. Okay. Mm. I'm going to stick with the king. What, yeah, you're not entirely sure what force just happened. Uh, the king, let me see if he's got enough wherewithal for this. No. All right, they begin to escort him this way. Far do they go? Two of them, they can probably get them about this far. Alright. Uh, you hear more screams and clattering from across the uh, across the bridge. Oh boy, let's see what's happening over here. Yep. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. And sorry, a bunch of stuff is happening that you're not privy to. No worries. I hope my vulture is okay. <laughs> Still flying above. It, def it definitely is making uh, more rapidly encroaching circles, though, as it sees shit going down. All right. And bugbear turn. Wolfgang, that bugbear you just stabbed is turning to swing at you. Oh, yeah? As he realizes that Raish is... Well, he's Raish. Uh, will a 15 hit you? It will. Okay. All right, he turns and swings at you with a club. And you take 10 damage as he uh, cracks you in the ribs. Mm. Wolfgang leers up at him, the last of his holy power flaring in his eyes. We don't have time for this! I'm going to burn my last spell slot to use Heavenly Rebuke. All right. He needs to make a DC 15 uh, dexterity saving throw. He failed. Okay. He takes six, eight, uh, I'm bad at math. 14. 14 fire damage. All right. As the heavenly light burns forth on him, the eyes that once emanated a red glow go back to normal for just a moment as he looks at you. And in Goblin, he utters, and crumples to the ground. Huh. Right, Horace stomps over to the side. No time for that. He starts running over to the other side. And... <laughs> Fuck that guy, I guess. <laughs> Q decimation off screen. He, he rolled, he, yeah, you just hear. <laughs> he rolled a crit. I'm not even rolling damage on that. <laughs> chopped a dude in half. Matt! Moving on. Yeah, you basically, like, he runs off screen. You just see blood splatter from where he left from. All right. Back up the list. We have Denier. And there's a sound of combat still going on? Yes. All right. Denier snarls to himself. He starts moving, and as he passes uh, Ramses, Denier will say, uh, This whole thing was a trap! The damn jester used you to get to me! And he would make a double move action to get to the bridge. All right. As you get to the bridge and you look across, I'll just unveil this entire...
Cool. Oh. You see uh, massive slaughter going on down here as bugbears have been going after the citizenry. It looks like Barristan Kench has made the field and has uh, gone about decapitating a few of them. And Horace currently has half of one stuck on his sword. Meanwhile, there are two goblins sitting up on the rooftops, both with their eyes glowing red as well, trying to take pot shots with short bows. Okay. Denier sets his sights on those two, but he did a double move to get here, so he can't do anything right now. Gotcha. And All he right. uses free action to talk to Ramses. Asmo, it is your turn. Uh, can Asmo, does Asmo see the king being dragged off over the top of the bodies? To make, left a perception, there? make a perception check, and I'll tell you what you're seeing. Okay, I will do that then for you real fast here, good sir. And what? what? I'm clicking it, but it's not. Hold on. And it might be a, a little bit of a roll 20. Uh, there seven. Go. Uh, yeah, your head's still kind of clouded about after all those rocks came slamming down. You're still trying to gather where you're at. You did just notice that Denier kind of ran down to the bridge uh, beside you, though. Uh, okay, I'm just I'm wondering. We just left Jimothy kind of half melted on the stage. Yeah, he doesn't look happy about it, but he's uh, he doesn't seem any necess like he doesn't seem necessarily worse for wear. All right, Osmo is just gonna. He's just uh, he, like his robes are just tattered, and now you got basically a man who uh, is half skeleton. Osmo is gonna look down at the body he sees and all the chaos. No one's looking at him right now. Yeah, there's way too much chaos going around on around you for people to notice you. Osmo turns the ring, uh, the ring that was given to him to do that ceremony thing. He turns it towards in inside of his palm and just places it on the head of, and squeezes the head of both of the bugbears right beside him. I'm a bitch. Right. As you press it down towards its flesh, it begins to glow a molten red, and it sets forth on this thing's flesh a brand not dissimilar to the one on your chest, just smaller. You place it on his temple, and as you pull the ring away, it cools, and the flesh begins to bubble around it. The body slowly but surely begins to disintegrate, turning to ash, like Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good style, and disappears. Do we notice that? That depends. What are you paying attention to right now? Well, what our would, side what, of... What would be drawing your attention? Our side of the battle of, is very much taken care of. Horatio looks like he's got that handled. Denier is going to help. Uh, I would probably be eyeing the stage at this moment to see if, uh, to see if, uh, see if the Archmage is all right. He looks, he, like might... he's, he looks like he's sneering and half of his face is a skull right now. But, uh, you know, good news is the side with the wart is still well intact. So that part is still. Thank to God. <laughs> I was worried about that wart. Yes. But would I would I have would I have caught that in my peripheral? Give me a, perce give me a perception check. I'm gonna go with Asmo's base stealth. Five. No, you wouldn't have actually. It okay. looks like Asmo's just kind of like leaning down to pick something up, and then he stands back up. The utter chaos of this battlefield is just too much for you. Asmo just thinks contemplat contemplatively. All right. Uh, so that that was your action. What would you like? Uh, do you have a move that you'd like to make? Uh, nah, not really. I mean, Asma saw Denier run, so Asma's going to run that direction as well. All right. As you turn that way and you look down across the bridge, you notice the chaos going on on the other side as it looks like the town guard is scattering to keep its populace safe from the encroaching bugbears or attacking bugbears. Okay, Asmo's just going to run up pretty much beside uh, our bar, a wolf gang, go like, all right, so what are we doing? Wolf gang, you can respond. Uh, uh, the, the guards look like they're leading the civilians to relative safety, right? It looks like they've at least got them covered, and it doesn't look like there are any more bugbears charging in from this little island. All right. We're helping Horish. He probably doesn't need it, but we're helping anyway. 
Where's Tiwig? He ran after the king. I don't even know where the king's going. His guards will keep him safe. Unless the guards are freaking one of the jester, is the jester or something. I don't think they're valuable enough to him. What if he's pretending to be them? I don't even know who, who did this. Was it the jester? Was it that weird thing we fought underground? What's going on? We, all saw, we all saw it come out of Denier, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Asmo definitely did. Wolfgang, you probably might not have... Uh, I mean, you're familiar Asmo, with the Asmo beam, actually grabs but... him by the cuff of his shirt. That came out of Denier. What? That came out of Denier. I... Dude, right. I wouldn't lie about this shit, okay? Uh, that's as much of the conversation as I'm going to allow to happen. Uh, Wolfgang, it is your turn to make a move and an action. A slash bonus action. Wolfgang's going to grit his teeth just say, God damn it. And uh, as a free action, I, I would like to shout to the Archmage, Are you all right? Uh... Basically from Jimothy Black, what you'll hear. No worse for wear. His eyes glowing blue. We have things covered. Make sure Bahum is safe. And I'm going to... Uh, going to uh, baseball slide over here to this side of the lake gonna whip out Requiem and I'm gonna fire two more Eldritch Blasts at this bugbear right here. Alright, fire away. Babushka, 13. 13's unfortunately gonna miss, it's gonna ricochet off that cart that he's kind of behind. Alright, fire again. 26. That one hits. Mm. 10 force damage. Right. Max damage, baby. Yeah, this one looks like he's already taken some and you basically knock off a quarter of his skull with this. And he slumps down to the ground. All right, that'll that'll be my my turn. T Wig, your turn. Whew. I am gonna bunny hop back up the stage, <laughs> like slide across the stage's wood with my metal legs, go up to this archmage guy, and be like, "Hello, my name is T Wig. How are you doing?" He turns to you, and you can see his finger glowing with a green with a green sort of energy as he's about to point it at your face. Yeah, okay, too, I don't have time for that. You are too bold to be an attacker. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna heal him. Uh, but he's undead. Yeah, does that work on Lich? Wait, is, wait, do I know he's undead? Would I notice that? Uh, he's oh, half, no! He's half skeleton. And his eyes are glowing blue. You know what? I'll let you roll a Knowledge Arcana to see if you can figure that out. Shit. Quick, do necrotic damage to him. Twelve. You know there's something magical about this guy and something weird and not natural. Mm. That is as much as you're getting. I kind of, like, the eye slot's kind of narrow. I would think twice for placing yes. your hands on me. Fair enough. I, I I can understand that. Uh, I'm just gonna take like a quick slow step back, and then take the dash action and jump back and join the king. Just hanging out with the king. Uh, I will heal him instead. All right, go for it. Seven. You notice this, this energy that you're pumping into him. For some reason, he's not receiving all of it. What the? That's not right. That Step will... away from his majesty. Step away from his majesty. Look, I'm just trying to help, okay? I want to incite the guards. Can I do that? I, I feel like you've done a lot already. I've done a lot. Yeah, fair enough. All right, I'm in turn. All right. Bugbear time. All right, the two goblins are firing arrows at Horatius. as they're just pinging off his flesh. And the last remaining bugbears are going to attempt to rush over to Barristan here. 
uh, the instant they get close to him, they clam up. They clam up? Yeah, they, they almost seem to stop as he takes his blade out of the bugbear that he is currently in the process of eviscerating and seems to stare one of them down. And they pause, frozen, almost as if terrified. And that's what they can do. Barristan, it is your move now. He calmly walks up to the one in the back. Fuck. Uh, essentially cleaves his head straight off. And then he looks to the other one. But before he can do anything, Horatio crushes him with his hand. The remaining guard is going to pull out a javelin and throw at one of the goblins up on top of the roof over there. And miss. All right. Oops, sorry. Got to control this. Ramses is going to stand over here. He's going to kind of move down towards you and Wolfgang Denier. I'll make sure this side stays safe if you need to venture over. And we're back up to Denier. Okie doke. Uh, let me check something real quick. Alright, so Denier is going to cast Magic Missile at the goblin closest to him on the roof. Alright. This is my final first level spell. Nine damage. All right. As the balls go clattering at this goblin, he goes falling back into the smoking chimney, and you just kind of hear a... Miff! <laughs> and as a free action, Wolf... Uh, Denier looks over towards Wolfgang. Wolfgang, something got in my head. It made me do something terrible. And that's it. Wolfgang Asmo, doesn't really turn. reply. As... Just, um, Asmo is, uh, with no one looking, Asmo's going to bend down and touch the bugbear at his foot again. Uh, sleight of hand. For oh, I dropped! Who wishes, for anybody who wishes to contest it. I will. Come on. Your hands. Come on, you have no reason you, to believe. You, 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 you have disadvantage on it since the other side <laughs> of the river is definitely more, your, uh, more uh, on your mind. That's fair. 16. Against insight or perception? Perception. Okay. With disadvantage for you. 11. So no. Yeah, Denier Asmo. has bigger problems. Yeah. Mm. Alrighty. All right. Asmo touches him and he doesn't feel so good Mr. Stark's away. <sighs> Asmo looks really conflicted. Very conflicted. Like doesn't like that he's doing this. And Asmo right. is going to run across the bridge. Ugh. You can hear more fighting going on from within the city. But it sounds like it's dying down in there. Okay, and that's it for my turn. All right, T-Wig. Isn't Wolfgang next? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Wolfgang. My bad. Sorry, I have so many fucking things on this no, list. No, no worries. No worries. I know that feeling. Trust me. So the city proper is towards the direction where Horatio and everybody yeah, are heading, Yeah, it goes right? down that paved path. It kind of hooks around into, like, you're, you're kind of looking at a suburb right now. But it looks like it's, it looks like it's dying down? Uh, it sounds like the uh, clattering of steel within there and the screams of people seem to be dying down. You're not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh. Oh man. 
actually have a shot from right here. Um, I am going to level Requiem on the last remaining goblin and uh, fire away with Eldritch Blast. Go for it. 25. That'll hit. One force damage. Aww. You seem to you seem to knock him, like you seem to peg him like right in the shoulder, and he kind of like jerks off to the side. It definitely took threw off his aim. All right, second one. Nineteen also hits. Another one. Oh my god! And you peg him in the other shoulder, knocking him in the other direction. Uh, kind of gives out a wolf. Wolfgang is looking very drained at the moment. He he almost like he's got nothing left. Uh he is going to use his movement to catch up to Asmo. And that'll be my turn. Alright, now we're on T Wig. Hey, okay, I'm gonna incite the guards. Alright. Uh what are you what are you attempting to uh get out of them? See what if they're you... in any sort of disguise. Okay. Or if any of them are acting, like, kind of fishy at all. Okay, go ahead and insight. 16. The one on his right is definitely, uh... There's something off about him. He seems a little too eager to get you away. Um... Also, uh, actually, no, with that 16 in this roll, you actually notice that, uh... Some of the... Yeah, with your passive perception, you'd also notice this. There's a glint coming from his pocket, and it looks like there's a vial of something in there. <laughs> your Majesty, sure you... What it is. Your Majesty, you need to go. I would like to... to um... oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to cast bees on that guard who's suspicious. Bee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Coming to bees! I'm just gonna All yell right. at the guard and, and the king, run! And I'm gonna unleash the bees on the rightmost guard. Time for plan B! Alright, DC 14 con save. Yeah. Holy fuck, a nat one. Yes! <laughs> okay. All right. he, be he begins flailing about, kind of like dancing madly, swiping at the bees. Um, I'm gonna I use my move. Believe this. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna just run in front of the the king and just like pull up a defensive stance. Um, uh, this other guard is extremely confused as Bahum kind of like slumps down. What's going on? As the man who's swatting at these bees looks at you with these dark eyes. You need to run. Very clever, machine. He smiles not, at you. I am not a machine. We are Tiwig. And we are amused. As he fades into smoke and drifts away. Does he just... It looks like a wisp of smoke sweeps past him and he's gone. Okay. <sighs> Smart playing the Dean. Oh my god. Oh man. I had a feeling something Ooh. was weird. I thought Not it too, but I was just one. No, I was <laughs> I, I was in no place. I am like hugging the king's ankle <laughs> right now with like a knife protecting him. What the hell's going on? The other guard is just really confused and scared. Just stay with the king! And that will end my turn. Alright. Wow. In one fell swoop, Denier tried to kill the king. <laughs> And T Wig saved the king. Wow, what a crazy wild ride this has been. All right, that goblin up top is uh, trying to take a few more pot shots, this time at Barristan. Fucking miss. Oh, this poor motherfucker. Okay. Barristan looks up at him. Down. That's a fail. As a beam of energy seems to sweep down from the heavens straight onto this goblin. 
Uh, he doesn't... He just disappears. <laughs> uh, the roof of that house definitely needs to be repaired. And the sound of clanking boots begin to echo up the street as guards begin to descend from the streets of the town heading towards the area. It seems as though the imminent threat has passed. I'm gonna let the king lie down. Yeah, the guard, uh, you can help the guard get the king to rest beneath this tree here. I will cast Druidcraft to make a bush <laughs> for his head to rest on. As Horace basically just like a massive Hulk jump and lands behind you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Denier ah! the staff and the gem to Ramses and he collapses. And the healing I do doesn't seem to work. It's like it's getting absorbed by some sort of magic sponge or something. Also, one of the guards was an assassin trying to kill him, but I managed to make him go away. That's all right. I... Horatio looks at you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I always try to help, but right now... I, I do not know what to do. I don't know much about magic things. We need someone who knows magic to tell us what's going on. Whatever's going on, we'll have to get him back home. <sighs> All right. Uh, Denier, a bunch of the guards... Oh, you're, did you say you passed out? He's he's conscious. He's just on the ground. He's he immediately gave the staff and the gem to Ramses, but he collapsed to the ground. He's conscious, but he's muttering to himself over and over, "It was a trap. The entire thing was a trap." All right, guards begin descending upon you. He does not resist. Yeah, they they put you in binders. No, you're the book. Oh, they're going to book him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. That's an R-naught classic. I wonder if there's a book big enough for me to get out of this one. Yeah, Denier Wait. does not resist. Mr. Horace. Yeah. Denier did not mean to do it. I know him. He would not do anything like this. Well... He did, and we're gonna have to get to the bottom of it. I will like put. I want to put my hand on on Horace and like look up and be like, "Please." He kind of snarls at you. I'm gonna stay there. I don't care. Please, don't hurt him. Please. His eyes sort of calm down and look at you. He needs to be held. Okay. I understand. And he begins to walk away, kind of like jerking his arm, his shoulder away from you. Okay, I'm going to go back to the king. I'm just going to stay by his side. Uh, I'm guessing Asmo and uh, Wolfgang are just watching Denier get booked. Yeah, Barristan kind of marches forward. Well, whew. sorry it took me so long to get here. There was quite a bit of a hassle going on within the city. I do, uh, protect my people. <laughs> What's going on? That one right there. I don't know if something's wrong with him. Asmo's, or uh, if there's, or if he's, or if he's been planning this this whole time. Asmo, uh, is gonna look to Wolfgang. Why do you think he did it? Was it, what do you think? Was it the jester? Was it... Was he doing the same mind control thing on him? Like what? I know Denier. Yeah, we both know Denier. He would never. He's not that powerful way. enough. That to do that to Bahum. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should tell them that. All right, this is something uh, as, else entirely. As, as you began having your own conversation, I want you to make a perception check to see if you could still overhear the conversation they were having. 
17. All right, you begin here. Blah, 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 blah. Hold them, blah, 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 blah. 13. Very well. As you wish, my... As you wish. Well, looks like you'll be staying with us for a little while, friends. Don't worry. We're excellent hosts. Guards! He claps as the guards begin to proceed towards you, all, all three of you with binders. Oh, this is bullshit. Oh, no! Horatio! Remember what I told you. I remember, but I need to get him back to the capital. I don't know what's going on, and until I can figure it out, and until we can get transport for you safely, I don't trust you to be walking around on your own. I don't <laughs> trust him. And I point to Barristan. This is bullshit! Asmo's just on the ground right now. Oh, this is horseshit! I showed you what we found in that, in that mine. It's all him. He's been doing this. Kench! Yes, my lord. They're not to be harmed. And he stomps off. You watch as in the back of the field, he turns into a massive bronze dragon. Lifts up King Bahoom gingerly with his claw and flaps his mighty wings and flies off. As he transforms, dial-up noises in my brain. <laughs> well, perhaps we should get you acquainted with your new arrangements. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, please put me up in the nicest room you have. That'd be so great. Uh, I'd like grapes and cheeses. Uh, Good junk. <laughs> Wait, why was I thrown in jail? I didn't do anything. You're with them. <laughs> but I helped save the king. This, this, is, is, just, a... this is just a flash cut. <laughs> we'll, dis we'll discover how... Uh, you're all chained to the wall, by the way. We'll all ah! discover how we got here after a short break. Okay. <laughs> I did a. F I was such a good bean. Why you am I in jail? You were a good were. bean. All right. So a few things I forgot to mention. Uh, after that guard rolled that nat one and started dancing around with the bees, a uh, big red rock fell out of his pocket, which okay. was henceforth collected by a few guards. And uh, Ramses would eventually go to claim that. And uh, as you guys are being escorted together. T-Wig, I assume you would eventually go back over to see what the commotion was around your friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would yell many things. And... Yeah, they, they would have uh, taken you along with them as you have been a party to them. You would have each been brought to separate rooms and stripped of your belongings. Obviously, okay. you can't take Requiem away from Wolfgang, but Wolfgang, they uh, in turn decided to put giant ball handcuffs over your hands. So that you cannot use your hands. Shite. <laughs> Our balls. That's exactly how I was planning on breaking out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they, they remember this place specializes in uh, holding magic, essentially sorcerers who don't need a lot in order to use magic. All right. Well, walking uh, up Asmo, the, As Asmo, you are stripped of your weapons. Uh, would you like to attempt to hide any of them before you are? <laughs> yeah, shove them up your snake foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Asmo, like he's obviously, actually, they don't know how the frostbite works. Asmo's trying to try and hide the. Asmo's gonna try and hide the frostbite as just like a stick. Okay. In, his, in, uh, in, in between. Go ahead and roll. He's gonna me. eat. He's gonna swallow it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, <coughs> make sure. Make sure you don't say Ikernacht. No, uh, he can't say it. Yeah, just cannot. Go mm -hmm. ahead and if you are choosing to swallow it, roll me stealth with advantage. Ooh. I will do that. Mm, 25. Yeah, they aren't that thorough. Now you just need to wait until you can get it out. Question. Yep. Did they take everything out of the inside of my body? Yes. Damn, okay. Can't even yeah. cry anymore. Uh, no. You, uh... Especially the bones. They're very interested in the fact that you had human remains inside of you. I would have explained that I was trying to bury them in the garden that I have, where they belong. 
I don't they, know. This they're person. simply there taking them for inventory. They would have just not. A... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you guys are hanging in a jail cell right now. Are we hanging? Or, yeah. Your arms are like chained above your head. You have like enough length that you can like kind of stand on your tippy toes, but it is very, very uncomfortable. How can much hear... time has, has passed since we've been put in this jail? Will we have enough time for like a short rest or anything, or has it been? It feels like a couple hours, so yeah. Okay. But it's not a very restful rest, as you are. Actually, I guess T Wig wouldn't mind. You don't really. I don't. Really yeah, I I don't really do anything. So yeah, I'll go inactive for like a couple those two hours basically, and just wait if there's any commotion to wake up. So I'll take I'll the just, short rest. Wolfgang, I'll just try to get as comfortable as possible. Yeah, it's very difficult. Like, your arms are kind of, like, pulled out. Like, you can kind of stand on your tippy toes. I'm going to heal a little bit with my hit die. Ooh. Yeah, everybody can get one hit die back at the very least. All right. Oh, only, only one hit die? Well, everybody else except you. You can, uh... you can get those hit die back, but everybody else is uncomfortable. Cool. Three. One D eight. It's one D eight for uh, for you it would be a D ten, you're a fighter, right? Right, yes. And I get my spell slots back. I'll take the nine. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Seven for Denier. So you guys are just kind of hanging here. So are we facing the wall or are we facing... Uh... Oh, I also... You're facing, also the, get... you're facing the center of the room. I also add my con constitution. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and add your there con to that. One, two, three. It's just three. That's my proficiency. Okay, is there any way that I can turn around? You're facing the center of the room. Did you, like, want to... Like, I, I want to try to face the wall. Would I be able to? Hmm... Your legs would leave the ground because you'd have to twist the chains in a weird way. Because mm -hmm. you're shackled to the wall. Yep. And if you even go up just like one notch, your your feet wouldn't really be touching the ground, and you'd have uh, to kind of like jerk yourself around. Real quick, um, Asma's gonna. Can we hear each other? Yeah, yeah. You're you're all. You can see each other. You can hear each other. You can talk. You know, this. I think I speak for all of us when I say, uh, "What the hell, in here?" Denier is currently trying to climb up the wall with his claws. The entire thing was a damn trap. Asmo, do you remember what I said in the tunnels? Asmo uh, embarrassedly doesn't want to admit that he doesn't. Yeah. The it's Jester said the best way to get to a gym user is with the right bait. Palto was bait to get to me so he can use Palto's gem to make me attack the king. How do you do more magic than you actually have in your body, though? Because it, it wasn't his magic. It was the damn gem. Uh, in that moment, like... Denier essentially became sort of a darker version of myself. Windows startup noises, I start to kind of come back to consciousness. Uh, you've got mail. <laughs> it was like... It was like I wasn't at the helm of the wagon anymore. Somebody just grabbed me, pulled me into the back of the cart, and then just kept driving. Well, this, this, uh, well I'm sure if you explain that to them, they'll totally listen. He was here. Hmm? The jester, he was here. What? I, I sensed him behind the stage. I, I talked to him. He was behind the stage. I spoke with him briefly. He, he had a vial in like a crystal, and he was trying to get the king away from us, but I stuck around because I was worried about the king. Wait, he had a vial? Yeah. Did you see what the vial was of? Uh, what color did I? What color was it? It was. You were getting glimpses of it in his uh, pocket. I 
will allow you to roll a... Hmm. Let's go Arcana? with a perception check. 20. Soft 20. Soft mm. 20. It definitely, like, it was corked. It had something in it, and you think you got a glint of red. I think it was red. Oh, fine, fine, what fine. Was, where was he? What was he doing? He was pretending to be a guard. He was telling me to go away. Son and I a... refused, but the king is okay. He's with his brother now. It was a distraction. Of he course. used me as a distraction so he could get to the king and get the king's damn blood. Why does he want the king's blood? You remember the journal I read? He doesn't want quantity. He wants quality of blood for the bleeding god. What the fuck? Damn it, he's got one of the most powerful dragons' blood now? Damn it. You hear boots I... stomping coming from down the hall. Clink, 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 clink. Sounds like a set of three of them. I'm gonna I... pretend to. I'm gonna go slack. I'm gonna pretend to be dis like deactivated, but I'm still conscious. He'll go back right. to his normal position. Uh, you see two guards approach the door. One wearing the standard issue silver armor, and one of them wearing the golden armor that seems to be befitting of, or the bronze armor that seems to be befitting of the royal army. They step into the room and then step aside as you hear the heavy boots of a plate male wearing Barrist and Kench walking through. Ah! Oh, how are you doing? Hanging in there, I suppose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Such a funny guy, Kench. Ah, oh, he gets it. On his back, he wields a massive war hammer. Oh, is that the one we saw him use in the past? Uh, it's the one that you saw on the statue, but you've never seen Kench holding or this. Well, you've never seen Barristan Kench holding it. Yeah, he's always been using a sword up to this yeah, point. Yeah, massive okay. great sword. Ah, I had a few questions for you as we were rummaging through the, well, inventory on your personage. First of all, Mr. Asmo, yes? Mr. Black? Oh, yeah, yeah, Asmo that's the Black. name. I uh, was very curious to find a, a Kench family heirloom on you. What? That's crazy. What was it? Uh, the silver guard steps forward and holds out Fire Ant. The Elven Blade. Yes, it was given to my family for protecting the cowardly ones that fled to the east as we held our position here. I picked that up in the north, actually. It was sold to me. Hmm. Well, seems you bought from a thief. Ah, that went oh. missing some months ago. Well... Well, this is an awkward situation, so what are we going to do to kind of, like, sort an this out incredibly here? incredibly awkward situation, because that went missing around the time that I met you first. What? Fascinating, I know. Oh, that is a coincidence, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. And you, Mr. Connolly. <sighs> he holds out the Sword of Vengeance. Where did you find this? Just wandering around. Wandering around where? Oh, you know, sniffing out evil. <laughs> of course. Well, funny that you should mention that because this sword used to belong to my brother. My elder brother died of a terrible accident in the mines. Very so intriguing. How... So how did it come to be in your possession? We heard some rumblings in the mines. We went to go seek it out. It just so happens that I found this sword laying there. Your mines are infested with monsters, Kench. Hmm. Perhaps that's why they were barred off from visitors while this was all going on. I do appreciate your go get em attitude when it comes to slaying the evil creatures within, but perhaps next time 
do as I asked and report first. A man's life was on the line. I had no time to go and report and do things by the books. Fair enough. Go ahead and make a uh, persuasion check. It could is say 18. Can I hear Kinch? Yes, you're all in the same room. Mm. Okay. And you, quite a few interesting things found on you, Mr. Highwind. Really now? Strange books, odd texts, very interesting bones. Especially on your walking armor over there. Ah. The armor doesn't belong to me. The armor is of its own. Oh, I've heard it's, as far as I'm aware, it's property of the king, so. And to answer one of your previous questions, we actually tried to send a message out. All of our communications were blocked by the Jester of Bordeaux. This Jester of Bordeaux. Elaborate. He is a being from the north. He comes from the city of Bordeaux, which is across the Maw from Silver Rock. Yes. We encountered him. He's the sole survivor, from what I can tell, of Bordeaux. He's laid a bloody path across the north, and now he's come to the south. This entire thing was his idea. This entire situation was one giant trap set by him. And you just happen to be the weapon. I believe... It is my belief that he used methods beyond his own power to control my mind. You and I have been in battle together before. You have seen my person and the type of character that I am. I would not do this of my own will and my own volition. Well... As much as I wish to believe you, I suppose that remains to be seen. Think Don't it. worry. You're in the hands of the greatest interrogator in all of Marmaria. Maybe. Good. Bring in vile blood and bring in Palto. They'll I was be able talking to about me. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 really? What are you going to do there, Kench? Just uh, chew the scenery right in front of us like we can't do anything? <laughs> Asmo, you take five damage as he rams his gauntlet into your stomach. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what? Oh, man. God, you got no family around. They'd be so uh, disappointed. How weak you punch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh. Speaking of my family. Did I overhear you mentioning something about finding something in the mines? Are you talking to me? <coughs> I'm talking to the room, Serpent. Oh, snake, actually. It's okay. We make ourselves a place apart behind light words that tease and flout, but oh, your agitated heart till someone really finds you out. And I'm going to silly lull my head up and look at him. Uh, the uh, the bronze-covered guard begins to walk forward. Kench, Master Horace was very clear you're not to harm them. Oh, I'm aware, but they became so violent so quickly, and they stole from my family. What are you talking about? They haven't become violent at... As he says this, the guard behind him stabs him through the neck with fire ant. No! no! Oh, no! 
Why, this... This can't stand. <laughs> An Is... attempted escape and taking the life of an armed soldier of Is the that... kingdom. Asmo, you take another uh, five damage as he punches you in the gut again. <laughs> Surely, okay. some punishment is worthy of such a crime. Real fast. Now, he's been striking me in the stomach. I hid frostbite in my stomach. Am, yes. Is it coming up my throat right now? Um, you can make a constitution check to try to regurgitate it. Into my mouth, if that's possible. Okay. <laughs> Just a constitution saving there or a constitution check? Check. 22. All right, you're, be, you're starting to be able to force it up. Like, with the force of his fist landing in your gut, you're starting to be able to force it up your esophagus a little by little. <clears throat> like I want... Start, you can, can I feel hold... it kind of in your throat right now? Can I hold? Can I hold an action? Sure. What do you want to hold? If and he what's the trigger? Go... If he goes to hit Asmo again, I want to transform into a creature and charge him. Okay. They can't take wild shape from me, and they didn't. He's never seen me transform, so. Hey. I will say you might find that a little bit more complicated than what it is, but all right. Uh, Barristan looks over to you, Wolfgang. Yes, Mr. Connolly. You want to know what I saw in the mines? <laughs> I'm very curious. Come closer and I'll tell you. <laughs> he gets right in your face. I saw what you've been doing all this time. I saw what you kept hidden down there. Saw the reason why so many innocent sorcerers have been killed this entire time. Just keep one jealous relative alive. Do you think I have any feelings for that monster? Unlike my predecessors, I didn't bring them to him alive. Mm. Very interesting. Is that door open? That door back there? No, I was asking that out of character. Oh, is that door open? Uh, it looked like they locked it on their way in. Hmm. Are there bars that I can see through? Yes. Perfect. Well, he reaches behind his back and pulls out the warhammer. It's a massive silver warhammer with these kind of almost primal runes printed around it. Any of you speak giant? Uh... Nope. I speak giant. Uh, I Denier, How many languages do you be... speak? Three. Actually, oh. four. And you chose Goblin, Giant, and... Draconic. Go goblin, Giant, Draconic, and Common? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, on the then Denier, you can actually, uh, if with a perception check, you can actually make out what these say. Okie doke. Let's see. Perception. That is a 12. You can make out one of the words, uh, or at least part of one of the words. It seems to say shout or... It could be shout or boom. You're not sure. Oh god, it's a boomstick. He's just kind of holding it in his hands. This right here. This is a hammer of justice. Granted to us by our divine savior. Held, passed down from kench to kench. I've only wielded it once. Stomped out a group of brigands with it. My father needed to make a trip to Dragon's Rest. Oh. 
that is actually rather fascinating. Is that giant on the side of it? I don't know. Fascinating runes, though, aren't they? No. Hold on. Horace oh. did say specifically I was not to harm you in any way, shape, or form there, Mr. Connolly. You, you cut out, by the way. Let's... Could you repeat that last little bit, Nick? Sure. Uh, Horace, or uh, Bahum said, or, ah, sorry. Barristan Kench says, Now, Lord Horace told me I'm not to harm you in any way, shape, or form there, Mr. Connolly. However, he turns to Asmo. For such transgressions. Uh, Asmo, you feel a thundering blow as he slams this into your left knee. <laughs> Dealing, so he's just... uh, he, hold on. Let me tell you the damage that goes from this first. You take six bludgeoning damage as a boom echoes out from it. You take an additional three sonic damage. <laughs> you feel as though every bone in your leg has shattered. Okay, can, in this moment, can I use, can I try and get the, can I try and... That like, triggers my held time? action. It does. I uh, need you to make an arcane check to try to defeat the ruining uh, the runes on your chains. Okay. Ugh, nine. Uh, as you attempt to shape yourself, these runes on the side of your chains begin to glow and it seems to stop you with some sort of anti-magic uh, in the in this opportunity can i have can i get the my i get my frostbite up into my mouth now i will uh with that thundering slam make a constitution check with a disadvantage for me at disadvantage as you literally ju as you literally just felt your leg shatter into a thousand pieces 10 it's still in your throat. It didn't go any further down, but it's still there. <laughs> My lord, we still have the other prisoner to deal with, that, uh, the goblin that we found trying to sneak away in the outskirts. Right, of course. We continue this interrogation another time. Wait. <coughs> oh, there'll be plenty of time. Rest those legs. <laughs> ah, I'll see you tomorrow. As they step out, leaving you in there with the body. <sighs> God, I can't even heal him if I wanted to. Yeah, there's just a pool of blood emitting from around this guy. Yo, Ken sucks! <coughs> we all know that. Damn it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cast like cantrips. Alright, make arcane checks with every uh, attempt. Just gonna like flashlight on and off with my natural one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. These runes actually seem to be giving you kind of a shock feedback on that. Yeah. You actually seem to take uh, three bur uh, three fire damage as these shackles begin to burn your wrists. <sighs> Sorry, yes. Sorry, Asmo, I tried to help you, but... Oh, that's okay. I just need him to get closer one more time. I just need him to get closer one more time, and I got something to tell him. Something I want to whisper in his ear. I just... I tried to tell him something myself. These runes are getting in my way. Uh, this won't. This won't at all. <laughs> what were you about to ask? Uh, Shadow? Alright, since I am a cat, and we all know that cats are half liquid, I would like to uh, try to make some kind of an acrobatics check, or some kind of, like, escape artist jet check, to try to slip my hands out of these shackles. The bendy bones. Alright, um, I'm guessing that will be... Acrobatics with disadvantage. Okie doke. Acrobatics. Eight. Huh? Alright, you're trying to like jerk yourself around. You can't quite seem to get any real good momentum on these things. And they always seem to like catch and chafe at your skin as you're trying to pull it out. Mm -hmm. I would like to try to transform again. To something small, like a rat. 
Okay. Go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Eight. Damn. Yeah, they force feedback on you again and just for whatever reason your head keeps spinning around every time you try you keep visualizing the animal but then your mind gets locked back as if you're getting pushed back by a steel wall this is annoying gosh hmm. as was gonna try one more time to get his uh to get that uh his blade out of his throat just a regular con check then <coughs> 13. Right. You can kind of feel it at the very top, like at the very back of your mouth right now. If you could reach in with your hand, you could get it, but... Can, yeah, I, reach just in with... back. Can, I, can I reach in with my giant snake tongue? You're, it's at the very back of your snake tongue is the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just making those sounds the entire time, just so you know. Yeah, Maybe he really leg, hits you hard, is... huh? <laughs> while your leg is just throbbing with this pain. I'm going to try to uh, stand up against the wall, like back my feet up so that I'm standing up. Like uh, your, feet are all, your feet are all the way as far back as they can get when you're tippy-toed. Like that's how you can get any leverage. No, I, I, want, I, want to, I want to, basically what I'm trying to do is going to try to Vegeta Android 19 this. Oh, try to sh uh, destroy the shackles. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm trying to use my legs to pull the shackles out of the wall. Okay. So, you're just trying to work your legs up the wall. I want you to make me an athletics check. Athletics. 18. All right, nice. you begin pulling at these chains. And <clears throat> luckily, these little balls at the end are actually giving you a little bit more momentum and wrist protection. So, you're really pulling, and you can kind of start to feel these stones start to shake. <clears throat> it's just not quite getting there. You definitely feel like one. You definitely feel like it's looser than it should be, though. Like this room probably has fallen to a bit of disrepair. Mm. You can hear some of the bricks behind you kind of start to shift and crackle as you were doing that. You're not sure how far in this anchor goes for these chains, but you think it's doable. Hmm. I want to keep trying, or... While you're thinking about that, um, Lenny, I would like to try to make an Arcana check to conjure up my Mage Hand. Okay. I will allow that. Go ahead and give me your Arcana check. Nine. Ah, uh, unfortunately, nothing doing there. As you attempt to do so, the chains begin to burn a little bit and your magic seems to fizzle out as you're attempting to do so okay then he's going to take his with the the chains and the gauntlets and everything like that the shackles how what are they what are are they like ruined on them yeah they seem to have runes on them okay then he's going to take his claw and he's going to start scratching at one of the all right this might take a little while to change up some of the runes, but I want you to make an Arcana check with advantage as you have done this study with Ramses in the Sorcerer's Academy. 23. Oh. All right. You know exactly which runes you need to change, but it's going to take you some time with your little mm -hmm. uh, chitaneous claw to file away this metal. Mm -hmm. I've done it before, and with the... Ooh, what are the filings? Uh, what is the uh, the shackles made out of? Iron, by chance? Uh, they seem to be made out of iron, yeah. Hmm, okay. That's going to be helpful. Then I collect the iron filings as well. All right. As you're scratching away at it, trying to do your best to switch up claws so you don't file them down to nubs. Yeah. Can I... This is a very stupid question. Um, can I just dislocate my arms? Because I'm a construct. You hadn't made an attempt to do so. Can I attempt to do that? <laughs> that would be a constitution check. Disconnect right. arms. 16. Yeah, you're trying to work through it, and you realize that uh, if you could get the right leverage, you might be able to pop off a couple of your fingers, or maybe even your hand, and slip it through that. You're not sure how easy it'll be to get reattached, but you think it's possible if you can find the right sort of leverage to do so. 
because you can't quite reach your hands together the way the shackles are. Fair enough. They're kind of pulling at you, like, from an angle on each side. Do I want to lose my hands? I mean, one of them's already broken. I can try one more thing. Okay. All right. So the runes prevent me from doing anything magic, right? Yeah, and your hands are locked into what are essentially, like, balls. Okay. Well. This is going to be so finicky, but something I can try. <laughs> Don't really have a lot to lose. I'm going to summon Requiem, but... I'm going to summon it as a lance. What? 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 Yep. Yep. Pack weapon. I can make my pack weapon whatever I want. Mm, I don't like that rule. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Like I, I, I keeping requiem as requiem is kind of like. It, it might be an actual rule in D and D, but I, I do not like that, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure as a packed weapon, you also have to do a ceremony to make that weapon your packed weapon. Or something like that. Like you have to sit down and like focus on this item that you want to be your packed weapon. I will check. When the end DM rules, that's like the DM. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go with. That. I think I think it is a ritual because I remember in Critical Role that's what Ford had to do for a sword. Yeah, so I mean you can dedicate a knight to doing that if you would like. There goes that plan. All right, I'm gonna try and pop up my arms or my hands or whatever joint I can. All right, you start focusing on the hand that already got run over by the cart. I want you to make a either a constitution check for a quick like rip away, just destroy the hand or an uh, investigation check or what would it be? Investigation discipline. Medical maybe? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not flesh, though. I'm not made yeah, of flesh. Yeah, I, I know. Like, that's that's the thing about robots. I'm like, what exactly? Can I can I pass be? you a crisp fiver so I can make an investigation? A crisp. Well, let, let, let me think this through here. In real Canadian? Quick. Yeah, it's plastic. <laughs> it's blue. It's three fifty, Nadine. Sorry. Ah, three fifty. Right, I know. Let's let's go with. Yeah, you know what? Investigation. I'll see if you can, from the very inside of your hand, just try to disconnect it in a way. 24. Yeah. You work, you start working like, oh, you see that this part here is kind of frayed, so you start popping that part against the shackle. Uh, this is still going to take you about 10 minutes of clanking it, but in order to get your hand off in a usable fashion, you have found a way to do so. It is just going to take you a little bit of time. Okay. Just like it's taking Denier some time to carve away at the runes. I would like to do that to my other hand also to get both of them free. Just completely free myself from the shackles if in any way possible. All right. The other hand is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, you're going to have to focus on them one at a time, first of all. Okay. Asmo, you still trying to force the dagger out oh, of yeah. your throat? Asmo hasn't been stopped. Asmo just been coughing the entire time. <laughs> all right. Well, one more, one more uh, constitution check from you. 15. All right. Blech. You have it in your mouth now. <sighs> How, 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 okay, okay. It's very slimy. Do you, do you remember, uh, do you remember the dude from Anaconda after he got spit out? Oh my god, you cut out like four times. One second, let me just jump out, jump back in. Did I cut out to anybody else? Yeah, Say that again? me too also. Huh, weird. Uh, do you remember the dude that got spit out of the snake in Anaconda? Your, your... I've never seen Anaconda. Okay, well, it's very slimy and your, uh, your Ugh. hilt looks like that. Okay, Asma has his tongue wrapped around it a little bit. Can how far are you? Is Asma allowed to like <laughs> stick out his tongue uh, while still holding the blade with his tongue? Yeah, that would be a sleight of hand check to te check. <clears throat> sleight of tongue. Thirteen. You don't lose it, but as you're sticking your tongue out, you realize that the balance on this thing and the pain coursing through your body is causing you to kind of like wobble. Uh, how far is that my tongue to my great idea? How far is my tongue to my right hand? <laughs> uh, your hand is literally an arm's length away from your head because you are hanging from your arms. Uh, 
And right Dang now you it. can only put weight on one foot. Uh, uh, Asma just puts it back in his mouth. Okay. Now what do I do? Uh, that's it. Uh, am I free at this point, at least on one half? Yeah, I'll say it's been a, I've say, I'll say it's been about an hour, and you've popped one of your hands off. Okay. Now, do I have like a stump at the end, or do I actually have my fingers? No. It looks like it looks like a bunch of frayed wires at the end of your hand as your hand has okay. popped off. It looks like it can be reattached by somebody that knows how, but as it stands, the hand itself is not on your wrist. Okay, without one of the runes there, I'm going to attempt to transform just to see if it'll work. Okay, that would still be an arcana check as your other hand is still bound. Okay. And right now you're only hanging from one arm. 16. But you do manage to go through with it this time. Okay. What Uh, have you become? What what have you done? What have I done? What have I done? Um, I'm going to turn into a saber-toothed tiger. All right, you are a three-legged saber-toothed tiger. It works. I'm also going to be very big. Let me grab my monster manual here. I dub the uh, lucky. As, as you grow, though, the other hand in oh, no. the chain. Oh, no. You are growing. So you're going to take some damage from this chain, and we're going to see. I need you to make a constitution check to see if your hand is stronger than this iron. Okay, let me grab the saber tooth stats. Uh, real fast here, 36. Uh, cause I think I'll be a bit tougher as a saber tooth cat. That's fine, you can use the cat stats. It's not gonna be by that much. Uh, it's gonna be, is that a a constitution saving throw? Uh, constitution check, just a check. Just a constitution check, okay, that's gonna be plus two. Seven! (laughs) Unfortunately, you get this massive binding doesn't yeah uh that other hand pops off too well and so now there's a massive cat paw just boom <laughs> oh jesus and uh i'm gonna say you take five damage from that as your hand flops to the ground and now you're Whoa. really off balance as a cat Alrighty, great uh you said five points of damage yeah five points uh luckily the hand does look like well paw does look like it can be reattached all right, I am well. going to scrape over to Wolfgang. Hold on, I'll grow you. You're you're free to move. Uh, I'm gonna say that you lost five uh, five feet of your movement speed though. Okay, so I, now it's going to. Okay, so I can still move thirty five. I'm gonna go over. I'm just gonna take my big giant saber tooth fang. I'm gonna find a place between the chain and the wall, or like the 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 manacle and Wolfgang's arm, and I'm just gonna try and lodge my teeth in there and snap it off. I probably loosened it up a little bit. Well, you loosened it from the wall itself. So if you want to make a athletics check with Wolfgang helping you, so a athletics with advantage. Athletics plus four. Yes. Okay. So this is the first roll. 16. Second roll. 22. All right. With that, uh, Wolfgang, your hands are still bound, but the chain comes clattering off the wall. <sighs> and you're on your feet comfortably. <sighs> That's better. Thank you. I would pet you, but, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk over. I'm going to do the same thing for Asmo. <sighs> Denier, at this point, you have uh, sc- clawed enough of the rune that you've changed the rune into uh, into a different meaning. Mm-hmm. It used to say bind. Now it says fuck. <laughs> so it, the runes now don't mean anything. Mm-hmm. I cast Mage Hand and I begin to rummage through this guard's pockets to see if he has a key. Alright, give me a survival check on that guard. Twelve. Uh, looks like this guy had a, you know, standard issue sword. Seems like a long sword. He has armor on. Doesn't look like he has anything resembling a key to this room or your shackles, though. Okay. All right. So you're going to attempt to assist Asmo getting down? Uh, 
Whichever one of you has the higher athletics, feel free to make a check with advantage. Oh boy, that uh, that I believe that is me. Yeah, that's gonna be you. I'll give you advantage. Thank you. I needed it. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's come very loose, but it's not quite there. Like it's just uh, kind of hanging there by a thread. Almost there. <clears throat> Go ahead and make one more check with advantage as you're trying to pull this thing free. With advantage? Nice. Yep. Nice. Clatters to the one. ground, and Asmo, you had enough wherewithal to land all of your weight on the foot that is not broken. Uh, which, oh, my leg's broken, huh? Yeah, one of them is pretty shattered up by that hammer. Which leg? Just curious, for flavor's sake. Uh, whichever one's your non-dominant leg. Oh, my, not my left leg. Yeah, it's shattered. Uh... You're all starting to hear some sounds coming from down the hallway as well as you're doing this. Sounds like commotion. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check, whoever wants to check. I'm gonna use my passive perception. Uh, what's that again? 21. Oof. All right, you can hear everything pretty clearly. 15. Mm, Four. <laughs> all right, here. Oh, it's coming this way. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck! Fu uh oh. Clack. 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 I Clack. cast enlarge on the shackles Clack. around my hands. Clack. Uh, your hands slip right through. Clack. Clack. Move I look at my arms still in the in the shackles, and a single <laughs> tear runs down my face. <laughs> to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. Uh, you hear footsteps slowly coming down as a somewhat familiar face to some of you emerges from the shadows. Clack. 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 Hey. He pulls out a key and opens up the door. Key! <sighs> As hey, you. Hey. Been a bit. Uh, took me a bit to find you. Thanks for uh, using the thing. Made it a lot easier. <sighs> Using the what? So what's going on here? You tell me. What do we owe? To what do we owe the magical appearance of the one known as you? Um. Well, I uh, came to check on why you disappeared, and I was told to find you, and everybody outside was not too keen on that. So I'm here now. You just killed your way through everybody, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? I think we did it. Why? Who's this guy? He points at the dead body on the ground. Some guard. Denier's <sighs> looting him. Uh, he tosses down a bunch of bags. They seem pretty keen on these. Poof, poof, poof. A lot of it looked familiar. Is it our stuff? It is your shit. Oh, my. I'm mean, gonna just as the cat form just walk over and eat my bag. <laughs> so it ends up in my. Did you see a giant man with a hammer somewhere along the way? Um, no, I did hear a goblin screaming some way what? down the ah. line though. Asmo gets up on his one leg. Where? Uh, other way. Hold on. He walks over to you. Man, you got fucked up. Yeah. <clears throat> he hands you a he he hands you a uh, potion. A witch. A what? A potion. Ooh. God, am I cutting out that bad? Uh, a, a potion. It's no, inconsistent, no. but. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's not doing that to the stream. All right, potion. Do I pop off? I pull off the top. What am I drinking? I make it feel better. They could be alcohol, dude. Oh, as one takes a as one swigs it down. All right. You heal eight damage oh, as your you. leg begins to mend itself. It doesn't feel all there, but damn, at least you can put weight on it now. Ah. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. What are friends for? We're not friends. Ha! <laughs> Good one. <laughs> That's what just like does that thing where like he he unlocks your shackles too by the way. 
And he walks over to you, Wolfgang. Hey, long time no see. Undoes your shackles. I'm gonna walk up to him and paw him, like, like with my stump, whatever. Hi, kitty. And I'm gonna point towards my arms that are still on the thing. Get those uh, out, too. Real fast. All right. He goes and walks over to the uh, smaller hand, puts it in a, kind of a pouch, walks over to the larger paw, hmm. fastens a bit of rope and puts a strap around it around his back. That should do. So, uh, want to get out of here, or did you want to, like, wait around for something? No, we're going to go find, we're going to find that screaming goblin. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was trying to stay away from that, because none of you are goblins. And then you're going to tell me why you're here. Sure. You to find me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, oh, okay. I, I came here because, you know, like, you weren't holding up your bargain, and then you were, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, I was on my way anyway, so may as well drop in check out how it's going you know anyway he opens up the door as well put gets finished putting on his rings and grab oh uh, he doesn't he, as well does not have fire ant though does he uh no you don't at the moment all right all right let's right. move right this way mind your step jesus christ as you come around the corner you just see the floor stained with blood and bodies are everywhere. Good God. Ah, uh, yeah, if you want to mark them too, that, that'd be cool. I, I don't, like, I don't have no, those. No, no, really? no. Really? I mean, no. you, you don't have that many. Uh, it would ask more questions. Two well, eggs, I mean, ears, also gets rid of the Evidence and. You doesn't get rid of the blood! I mean, what does? Seriously, what does? I, I Elbow grease. Ah. As opposed to steps up for the body. Where do, you, where do you buy that? At the elbow grease store. This technically, is a joke. technically, prestidigitation also gets rid of blood. Ah, I never learned that one. All right, and you guys step out of the hallway and into a another hallway that seems to be full of bodies and blood. Oh boy. So, uh, you sure you don't want to, you know, get any of these? I mean, they're freebies. Nah, it's uh, cheating. I mean, there is not really cheating. I mean, you just... I, I, actually, can you tell me real fast, why, what exactly does he want me to do that? He never really told me last time. Kind of I can't like, say. Ah, uh, you keep doing that. Well, you I, keep doing that. I, I'm, I'm telling the truth, though. No. I, I'm, I, I have never told a lie to you once. <sighs> that is unfortunately true. Yeah. So, no, like that, we're prioritizing finding the goblin, then I'll deal with the bodies later. They're not going anywhere. All right, well, then you're probably going to want to be a little quiet because I think I hear somebody coming around that corner. As he kind of, like, hushes you and, like, holds his hand back. Stealth. All right, everybody rolls stealth. Plus six for me. Hooray. 17. 21. 20. Whoa, natural 20. Nice. Eto. 16. All right. Uh, as you hear Kench speaking to his, uh, I guess, number one guard, the guy that was in the cell with you, walking past, Whew. keeps talking about knowing nothing like he was not a part of it. <laughs> oh, we'll dispose of him in the morning. Just let him think on it. Yes, very well, sir. Uh, Asmo, as the other guard is walking by, you can see Fire Ant sitting on his belt, and it's almost within arm's reach. You want to make a sleight of hand shift. A a Asmo gingerly moves his hand out. <laughs> All right, sleight of hand. Uh, that's, that's 36. <laughs> the three is just missing. I see. Perception <laughs> check. Luckily, Kench gets disadvantage because he's in front. Try your best, but you don't succeed. Kench is having a big, haughty belly laugh with a nat one, and I'm going to give this guy disadvantage with it as well because he's trying to keep up appearances with Kench. As well, just oh. kind of mouth damn it. He rolled a nine. Let's see what the other one is. He rolled an eight. God damn it. 
All right, he feels the, he feels the tug at the back of him. He's turning around. I want you to roll a stealth with disadvantage, or else he's gonna see you. Oh my god! Natural one! Oh, oh no! Boy. Oh boy! Well, I was just he like, looks as big as he possibly can with his hound outstretched. Yeah, your your mouth is open, reaching out to him, and he just turns around. Barristan got as a nat one. Barristan got a nat one. Is still walking. I want to see if. All right. Okay. As can well, I? I'm going to I'm going to give you one action because you have something that he can do. I what was that? To Sorry. Maybe try to save you. I said I'm giving you one attempt. I'm giving I'm going to give you one action to try to stop this guy from yelling. Asmo's gonna grapple him, put his hand over his mouth. All right. Okay. As Kench is still stomping along, go ahead and attempt it. Go ahead and uh, grapple check this guy. And uh, how do you do grapple in your game? It's athletics. 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 Here we go. You can choose acro. Oh. Nine. Oh, I can choose acrobatics or athletics. Uh, no, no. Ac acrobatics you would to, be to, to escape. To be the person to grapple, you have to use athletics. To escape, you can use athletics or acrobatics. This uh, guy's okay. going to attempt. But not to put someone in a hold. Yeah. You won. You got a seven. <laughs> yeah, as you grab him, now I need you to uh, basically pull him around the corner with a stealth check to try to... Actually, no, this is actually going to work very well with... 26. God Ooh. damn. Okay. Yeah, you pull him around the corner as Barristan Kench is walking. <laughs> and I... Hmm. I guess he went to check on the others. Keeps walking away. Oh, you're going to be... You're going to be really quiet right now. Or you're going to make a lot of noise. Do you understand me? Yeah. yeah. Good. Go ahead and roll intimidation with advantage. I'm going to stare at him and growl. I want to help with this intimidation. Okay. 20. Yeah, this guy looks around and he sees all these very strange people and he's surrounded by bodies. <laughs> you want to live? Why? Not you, him. Well, no, I mean, like, why should he? Because sometimes a living... Sometimes someone alive is more useful than someone dead. Shoot this drow a look. Yeah, you look you looks very confused by that. That is definitively not true. He points over to one of the bodies and it and the skeleton from within begins to tear away from the flesh and stands up and grabs a spear. Like it just took off its own meat suit. <laughs> See, that's useful. You cut the guy. This, this guy is now pissing his pants. All the if there's any hair from my fur cowl is all stuck up on end as I watch this happen. Yeah, your you, metal begins to ruffle. You cut that shit out. Not, Why? Not now, you. We're trying to get out of here and not create a giant scene. All right, you you stop. The bones kind of like lay back down, try to put the meat suit back on. <laughs> yeah, so that's the kind of thing that can happen to you unless you tell me exactly what I want to know. <laughs> Now, when I open my, when I let go of your mouth, if you scream, as we just pulls out the, the minter nogs right up to his jaw, I will say the words that will cause a foot of ice to go straight through your brain. Do you understand that? Before you even scream, so you're gonna whisper your answers to me. He kind Got of, it. he kind of like shakingly nods. Good. Now, why did Kench try? To hurt us. Even though he knows Horace would get mad at him. Asma just opens up his two little fingies so his lips can whisper. He, he doesn't like what happened in the mines. He doesn't like that you know about his uncle. And that, don't kill me, please. Oh, no, 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 you're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. Asma closes his mouth. Any other questions, guys? Are, are you sure he wouldn't be more useful as a skeleton? Not now. Any he's other gonna questions? shoot the drow another look. <laughs> he's like, he looks over you. Hi, kitty. How do we get out of here? 
<laughs> he looks like he's willing to talk if you take open open up the thingies a little bit. I, I have I have a key on my belt. <laughs> Asma reaches down and grabs the key. Uh, do you also grab your fire oh, ant? Oh, I'm waiting for that part. Okay. All right, grab the key and I toss it to Wolfgang. Grab it and I stick it in my belt. Now, if you were to, if you were to live, would you confess to what Kench did? As much as smiles an evil grin. You'd have to get me out of here, and you'd have to keep me safe because he'd, he'd kill me. He'd kill yeah, me. you killed a man though today. It's, it's because it's because of him. If 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 I didn't, then 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 I'd betray him, and he'd be mad under at me. Duress. He's he's crazy. What do you know? What do you know? What do you know about what Kench is doing aside from the bullshit in the damn mines? Asma, we don't have time for this. We, we do. Can get him, we can get him out of here. We can take him to Harish. I don't trust him to not run. I want the information now. Oh, he's not gonna run. <laughs> what he said was true. The, this, the magic bloods, they, they used to be delivered alive, and I, I don't know if that was better or worse, but... Barristan, he, he's always been so cold and... He only ever shows his true self when he's got somebody on the edge of his blade. He's a sadist. He's cruel. He's merciless. And if you don't take me with you, he will skin me alive. How much do you want to see him die? I just want to live. Answer the question, how much do you want to see him die? Asmo actually has, now has, the, uh, Fire ant has it like burning slightly on the edge of his jaw. Asmo. What do you want me to say? Because we're gonna hurt him. Oh, we're gonna hurt him real good. I, I just, I just, I just want my family to be safe. Asmo takes him and pushes him towards Wolfgang. <sighs> Take its weapons. <sighs> Asmo does not look happy. All right, I I remove his whatever whatever weapons he's carrying. Uh, he had a he had a dagger, a short sword at his side. Uh, looks like he's not walking around with a standard issue spear. That seems to be mostly for the guard guards. What's your name? Wallace. Wallace. Yeah. Uh, Wallace. We're gonna get you to safety. We're gonna keep your family safe as long as you promise that you will testify against Barristan Kench. Okay. We're not gonna let that sick, evil son of a bitch get away with any of this. Okay. And Asma looks right at you. See, that's why you don't just kill everyone pointlessly. I mean, his skeleton could testify. Let's shoot him another look. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Oh. I'm just saying, like, there's some great spells out there. You can make the dead people talk all the time. You want to grab any of these guys, they'll talk. And this guy, we have no association with this guy. I say to Wallace. They're my friends. <laughs> We're not we his friends. Are. No, no, no. They like, to, they like to joke. We killed him once. Different. Yep. Thinking about killing him again. That was a mm. great prank. <laughs> I'm going to get my goblin. Let's do it. We go around the corner. He's over that, that, that way. Thank you. Uh, I'm guessing. Yeah, this uh, Wallace here will lead you to Giblink. As you walk down the hallway, you just. It's very. It's a very dark, musty smell. You can smell the copper in the air. And as you open up the cell, you see his little legs just kind of hanging there. And he is just dripping with blood. Like, kind of fidgeting at the end of these chains. You can hear them rattling as you step into this cell. <laughs> Denier moves over, and the final healing potion that he has, he pours into Giblink's mouth. Roll a uh, medical check with advantage. All right. Uh, 
medical. Let's see. There it is. Sixteen. All right. You managed to get you managed to get it down his throat without him choking on all the blood that's also there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go ahead and uh, roll like... the two. Uh, roll, go ahead and roll the two d four plus two. Okie doke. Uh, let me see. 2d4, he gets 5 hit points back. <laughs> you guys again. Hey. Look like Gibbling owe you a long time now. This is like three times we've saved your life. Yeah. Maybe you Gibbling can repay someday. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like he's been cut into a lot, like a lot of his, uh, like there are just knife wounds all over him as if he's been getting like peeled and flayed. Asmo turns to Wallace. Why was he interrogating the goblin? Well, I'm, I mean, they, they attacked the town. They, we found this one just on the outskirts. We thought it was trying to get away. So it must've known something. Fair it just enough. kept I'm saying there. it wasn't, it just kept saying it wasn't involved and that it, and that it didn't know anything, and that it... Fine. I believe that. Uh-huh. You son... We getting out of here? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting out of here. I Hold thought... on. Before we go... As I was eyes switching a little bit, I don't want to hear it from you. Wolfgang, when I go do this. Asma walks back down the path where the bodies were. Okay. He's gonna Asma. fucking hear it from him. <laughs> Denier what you does not what, care. What, yeah, as you're walking down toward the bodies, uh, Wallace walks up and starts to unlock Giblink. And uh, Giblink, who oh. can't walk under his own power right now. Denier will help. Yeah, uh... He's essentially going to, you know, Yoda papoose on the back of Wallace. Good. Fair enough. Yeah. In, in Wolfgang and Asmo's absence, I'm going to keep a close eye on Wallace just to make sure he doesn't do anything. And I want to keep a close eye on you as well. Yeah, you, you is just kind of staring at Wallace. Asmo uh, kneels down in front of the first one, is about to touch it. I'm He's going to hear a gun cock. Uh, did, you, did you follow Asmo? I, I pretty much know what he's going to do, don't I? All right, then you are alone in a hallway with Asmo as you is just standing there next to Wallace. Do you know how many bones you have? Just uh, shoot him another look. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so, so, so just there's just a gun trained on the back of Asmo's head. Yeah, you hear you hear it cock behind you. You seriously gonna pull the trigger on me? Trust me when I say I really. Really don't want to, Asmo. You think I want to? You think I want this? Asmo just holds up the ring. You think I even like this? The only reason we have just got out of that damn jail cell is because I used it back. I had to know what it did. I figured a random bugbear, a random bugbear in the middle of a field doesn't matter. You've seen gonna... that? What that evil son of a bitch can do? Yes, I can. So I don't think defying him is really going to help me along the way. Okay. So he wants. Hundred bodies, right? Asmo, I, bodies. Asmo, I am trying to help you without resorting to this. You are feeding if him power. I Who knows? If I don't give him something, I'm dead. So I'm going to give him a little bit every now and then. And I will not give him the exact 100, but I swear to God, you get that gun out of the back of my goddamn head. You let me get rid of these bodies so no one knows one the wiser. You press the station the what blood away. You're gonna have to work fucking quick. I pull I, I put Requiem away and I start sacred flaming the bodies. Asmo smacks each of them with uh, the rune, each one in tandem. Alright, you start slapping the ones that aren't burning. Yeah. Uh, and they begin disintegrating. One after the other. Okay, Wolfgang, I'm... as yours is a uh, spell, and it takes bodies a lot longer to burn than they do disintegrate. You manage to burn one down, but its bones are still there. 
Alrighty. Um, how many? How many do I? How many bodies do I have? Do I? You got. Uh, you got seven. Seven on top of the two, so I'm down to ninety-one. Okay. <sighs> Asma just walks right past him. Asma's about to try and say something, but Asma doesn't just. And just walks past him again. Look! Not now. I know it's your ass on the line. But he's very powerful. You saw him. I yeah. hit him with everything I got and it only faced him. He hates my guts. Oh. I don't want him getting any stronger. Is he gonna kill me? No. Because that's about the only way. It's the only way you're going to stop me from just drip feeding him. He hates me and I know what kind of person he is. Then and if I... he goes after my boy. I'd rather die than that happen. You will. Good. At least we understand each other. And Asma turns and keeps walking well. From up above, you begin hearing a clattering. Like a bell. Ding. Ding. And you hear uh, people kind of rushing around. Oh, hey, that other thing's working now. We should probably go. What other thing? Oh, I needed to get a distraction so we could get out, right? So. What did uh, you do? Well, it was kind of an errand on my way here. I can't really go into all the details, but he said it was a gift for you. Meaning you, not me. And... Uh, to send his regards, and I figured it would make for a good way out. <laughs> Wolfgang, so Wolfgang board. just glaring daggers. Wolfgang's eyes are just gun, just gun barrels targeted. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He looks at you. He's like, "Oh yeah, you specifically, you." Anyway, looking at me. Let's yes. go. Let's right. go. God damn it. Uh, you begin, uh, Wallace begins to show you the way out as you begin wandering up. Oh, that's a much quicker way than I came in. <laughs> How did you get in? Uh, you know, just dug. Kind of points at a hole in the wall. Twig will nod, acknowledging this handiwork. Mm. Respect the hustle, respect the hustle. <laughs> it's a very long cave system, though. Kind of annoying, lots of angry things so we'll just oh yeah no way. kidding you should have seen the things that we had to deal with down there i would love to hear about it when anyway, we have we should... time. anyway look at me gabbing we should go all right you begin uh wandering up and out uh you eventually get into the main manor where you see a bunch of people running outside they don't pay you any mind as you begin to hear this clattering bell monster monster get it uh and as you make your way to the outer walls you can uh basically hear this snarling down in the courtyard what do our what do our dnt eyes witness well as you look out onto the courtyard you see what appears to be a feral like a massive dog tearing through these people, but it's like partially skeleton, like it's rotted away. And as you uh, look onto it, uh, it actually takes a small second. Wolfgang, as you look down, its skeleton seems familiar to you. Oh no! What? As you're looking down at this massive wolf-like beast that's tearing its way through these guards. It takes a moment and looks up at you, one eye glowing blue, and it pauses. Before it goes back to thrashing at these other guards. Can I make a perception check or something? Yeah. With advantage. Come on. Come on. Ten. You get a sinking feeling in your heart as it looks at you. But you shake it off, realizing you have to run. 
as you see Barristan Kench wandering out into the field. <laughs> what a day! As he clatters its head clear off, it I'm shatters gonna... into dust with his hammer. Can I, while I'm running, can I look back and just say one word? Yes. Akase! I'm gonna see if anybody else heard that over, over, uh... <laughs> Barristan's war cry as he slams this thing in the side of the head. Yeah, cloak its body, of its body is still flailing about despite the head disintegrating. And you continue running out as guards are piling into this courtyard. You run out into the city. You run out. The hell is farms. That and finally, the city of Silver Rock is behind you. I will drop my form at this point. The massive claw on the back of uh, uh, Yu's shoulders reverts as well. Oh. Should I give thanks, you for, thanks for carrying those. Can I have those? Can you just put those? There's just a little... Oh, it's like uh, yeah, shelf. Yeah, yeah uh, just, yeah, thanks. Thanks, no. He kind of ties the other hand there and like puts it around you like a scarf. So you have both of your hands kind of like flapping down at your sides. There you go. Perfect. What is that thing? Oh, uh, he said it was a, a gift, something, uh, something he wanted you to see at the very least. And I thought, what? you know what? Better time is it? to. Uh, dead werewolf. Yeah. What? What? I found, I found it under a tree. He told me to grab it. <gasps> I pull out Requiem and I just start whoa, firing whoa. at him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, roll the hit. Natural one. As you pull out Requiem, your aim just... <laughs> you're just raging, like firing as he's like, whoa! Packed, <laughs> packed weapon. You actually I shoot get a fire yourself again. in the foot in your own anger. Go ahead and roll damage as you shoot yourself in the foot in your... <laughs> Uh, you can attempt to fire at him again with your adrenaline. I will. Better reduce. Once again, 14. Uh, you fire, and he kind of ducks out of the way. Whoa! <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I am going to grab, I'm going to try and grab and physically hold back Wolfgang. Yeah, he, uh, he said you'd get a kick out of it. You need to go! You need to go now! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, uh... Yeah, he didn't get a kick out of that. Asl grabs uh, you looks... right by the collar. Uh, pushes... He looks like he... Okay. Is there anything I can push him up against? You're not really... You're kind of in an open field right now. But you can Spra kind of drag him away. What did you do? I... Well, I... All I did was... I... I just... I, what town did you find that tree in? Get off of me! Some, no. some said it was important to... I, I didn't... I didn't I, he seems really angry. You have desecrated a resting spot of a soul. There was a woman sleeping under that tree. You have no idea what you've done. There, there's not a soul in that body. I mean, Maybe like, not in that body, but you've disturbed the soul. That is my wife! I... I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm going to fucking kill all of you! Every single one of you that follows Solomon is dead! I'm going to strangle the life out of Solomon with my bare... Fucking hands! Mark my words! I, 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 I will, I guess, I, uh... Go! Tell Solomon! Go! Before I change my mind! Tell Solomon! I'm coming for him! Go! Okay. He kind of walks up to you, Wolfgang, cocks your gun and puts it against his head. I, I didn't. Hmm. No, you can walk. 
He'll just get back up again. Yeah, just walk. Yeah, just... You'll get yours when I find out how to do it permanently. Right. And he uh, sort of kind of... Charlie Brown walks off. Wolfgang. Uh, my girl. Wolfgang, she's not there. Look what they did to my girl. It's not her. She's not there. She fell asleep a long time ago. She's gone. She's not there. Denier walks over, grabs Wolfgang, and hugs him very tightly. We'll do what we can. That's all that we can do. But... Maybe there's a way to undo this. I don't know how. But if there's a way, we'll find it. And we'll make it right. Wolfie is just bawling. And Denier holds him close as he cries. It'll be okay. Pull back from this scene. As a rain cloud gathers overhead. A gentle rain begins to rain down. And this is where we will end today's session. What the, what the fuck?